Hi guys, it's Ruthie, plant obsessed lady loving to share my passion for plants and inspiring you to be creative with your plants and gardens. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. You know you rock. First of all, I just uh, want to wish everyone a belated Merry Christmas and um, a very happy new year. I miss you guys terribly and I'm sorry I haven't been around for a bit. It's been super hectic, but um, I'm hoping to be a little better this year about... Um, putting out more videos and being more consistent but i do miss you guys and i do want to thank you guys for a wonderful year that you guys have provided for me and all of the support love and um friendships that i have gained this year that i cherish like a lot <laughs> so thank you so much guys um today i'm gonna be doing um a succulent arrangement so let's get to it So I started recording this video and used a new mic to try and help with my audio, which was a suggestion from um, a subscriber or a comment. And basically as I'm editing the video, realized I have absolutely no sound. So in my attempts of trying to get better sound, I got no sound. Yeah, that's how it works out. Um, I can only imagine that at this point I am thanking you guys for watching, letting you know that I miss you, and letting you know this year has been tough for everyone, and I am not immune to that. Um, and also, you know, talking a whole lot about who knows what. <laughs> I will try and zoom in while I'm potting up and explain what I'm doing as I go, as best as I can. Um, yeah. I wish I knew what I was so excited about right there, but anyway, getting to it. I'm showing you my soil, but I just have to point out this cute little sheep lamb planter that I think I found that it was either at Ross or um, TJ Maxx. I forget exactly where, but it was $5.99, which I think is a steal, and it had um, drainage holes already, which was super awesome. So I'm just going to fill it up pretty much to the top. Yep, fill it up, fill it up. Let's go. What are you saying, Ruthie? I have no idea what I'm saying. Yep, fill it up, Ruthie. Stop talking, go. Let's go. Because I don't even remember what I was saying. It's terrible. And I can't even read my own lips. What in the world? Uh huh. Look at Mia. What's she looking for over there? <laughs> Trying to get lizard. She's so silly. Mm hmm. Yep. What you saying there, girl? I'm probably talking about the year and how it's been tough because it has been tough guys I know I'm not the only one that's felt it um, this new year didn't feel very festive but let me tell you something I love those pajamas I have my son says I look like a big old baby top and bottom baby blue says I look just like a baby all I need is a diaper all right let's get to it I'm gonna fast forward all right so we are gonna pick I cut some succulents from the planter behind me which is my propagation stations right behind me um, and I let them dry off probably about three or four days they've been callous now which is I'm pretty sure what I'm saying at this point um, and the soil's dry, so if you just cut them and put them in dry soil, that's fine. They will not rot, or at least that's been my experience. So I'm just placing them in position where I think they'll look the best. And I'm so proud of myself. Look at that. Look so proud of myself. My God. Um, and this this little arrangement did take many cuttings and I think came out pretty cute. Sometimes I get a little too into things and trying to make it 
this huge project and I think this came out really cute when it was said and done with like minimal cuttings because the pot was just the cutest thing ever look at Mia she's such a good dog alright let's go Ruthie You can use a little um, bulb to take any soil or dirt out of the way. And I'm so proud of myself because this is the quickest little arrangement I've ever made. Like, I'm like just really amazed that I just finished. And I just have to show you because I'm super proud in my little baby pajama. Look at this. Look at this. I'm so proud of myself. And I have no sound after all that. Nothing to be proud of, Ruthie. They're such a cute little planter. I'm pretty much saying like that I can't believe I finished so quickly. So I'm going to start another little arrangement. So here I go. So psyched that I finished quickly. I'm going to start another little arrangement for you guys. Um, and hope that I can do it quickly and make a nice little thing as well. Um, so I just have a little, I think it's a four inch terracotta pot. It's one of the shorter ones. They have like the taller ones. This one's a little shorter, which I really like because for succulents, you don't really need a deep pot because the root system is not typically very big. Um, so I have another little tiny pot, which I think is like a one and a half inch pot. I filled that with soil as well as the, um, four inch pot. I have a little watch chain, watch chain, um, Crassola, I believe, or Ripsalis, I always forget them, the actual names, which I'm super terrible about, um, but I put that in there, let me see if I can zoom in, right, I think that's a little better, you guys can see, that's some sort of, uh, Calancho, I believe. I like that it gives it like a 3D effect coming out of the pot. And then just one cutting of a rosette, a Traveria. Don't know the name of it. That's pretty much it. Except I'm going to put some turfists just to dress it. And that has to be like one of the quickest arrangements that I've made as well. So I'm just putting some turfists just to dress it a little bit. And clearly you don't have to and you can put any other um, top dressing that you want. But this is what I have on hand. And if you don't like this, you can go over there. You can go over there. I'm just kidding. I don't know what I'm saying there. <laughs> so at this point, I'm just fussing around with the little turfist, trying to perfect it, and don't know what I'm saying right now. Um, just tapping the turfist in. Tap that turfist. Getting up in my baby pajama. Gonna show you what we got. And if you hear a little puppy breathing, it's my dog biting my hand as I'm trying to voice over. Stop, Scrappy. I don't know what I found there, but I threw it over there. And I think I'm looking for more turfists because there was some empty spots. Tapping the turfists, tapping the turfists. don't know what's going on here I recorded this previously but there was no sound because I tried using a new mic and that did not work but this is basically 
the arrangement all put together and done. Um, and super simple. I mean, you saw how quickly I did it. Uh, I... You don't have to go crazy and take a crazy long time doing things sometimes and just make something simple and can still come out just as cute. I need to put a little more surface in here, fill that in. Not perfect, but you saw how quickly I did it. Um, yeah. And if you want to know how you would water something like this, um, you can either use a little syringe. Well, this doesn't need a syringe. You can just water it regularly. But this, you may say it's a little difficult to water. You can use like a syringe like a medicine um, dropper, um, you know, they have, I get them from work if I need to, um, or from the, you know, you can order them online. The syringes, actually I can link those down below because they're useful for other things as well. Syringes you can just use, or also I have a succulent tool um, set that has a little um, watering bottle that has a skinny little nozzle and you can get into the little crevices to water it. Okay. That's basically it. I mean, you don't have to get crazy. Sometimes I get a little elaborate and crazy with my, um, with my arrangements. And this was super quick and just as pretty. Um, but I wanted to take the time to really thank you all for, um, all of your support, love, and all the friendships, like I said earlier, that I have formed this year. I have so many people that I hold near and dear to my heart, um, that I, you know, I really appreciate this year it has been super tough and they have made it easier for me and just have really shown me that, you know, there is good in this world. There's everything is not bleak and dark and crazy. Um, some of those people, I'm just going to throw out some names clearly are Aaron, Angelique, Shannon, Cookie, um, Julie, uh, Fernanda, um, Oh God, I'm terrible with names, so forgive me. Um, um, one of the first piece people, one of the first people to bless me for my birthday and send me um, beautiful aeoniums was Claudia. I haven't seen her in a long time, and I pray that she's doing well. Um, Stephanie Hall, Debbie Hediger, such a sweetheart. Um, Willa Johnson, um, Myra. So many people that I've met this year that have really blessed my heart and my 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 life in ways that they won't even understand. And please forgive me if, you know, blame my mind and not my heart. Anyone that I've forgotten. Oh, my God, Maria from my tropical, um, my tropical planned adventures. I love her. She's a sweetheart. If you don't know her, haven't seen her channel, please check her out because she's amazing. And she's a sister of God, and I love her so much. Um... So many people that have blessed my heart in ways they will never know. Um, I appreciate you guys more than you can ever understand. And thank you. Thank you. I pray for every single one of you that you have a happy, blessed, healthy, prosperous year. May have a great year, guys. I thank you so much. Um, thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Um, have a wonderful new year and um don't forget to like comment subscribe and hit that bell notification so you know when i post something new so next time let's make this world a more beautiful place one succulent plant and cacti at a time